This unassuming building hides an entrepreneurial genius. Daniel Thomas dropped out of college a few years ago, set up a hot tub business, and now turns over over a million pounds a year. I'm going to meet him. Daniel. Des. Good to meet you, mate. How you doing? You look so young. I'm <laughs> trying to be. <laughs> so tell me, how, how did this all start? So I was in college. It actually had nothing to do with hot tubs at the time. I had a mobile phone, and I was looking for a, a, a screen protector for it. And they were, online, they were selling them for something like 15 quid. I managed to find some guys in China that were selling them for like 20p, brought them in. And that sort of introduced me to, to products abroad that you could bring in and import. And eventually, uh, we sort of ended up selling hot tubs, moving from product to product and finishing off with these. So what's so special about hot tubs? Well, um, they provide people with some warmth, <laughs> is the main thing. Um, but they're, they're, there's a whole bunch of benefits to them. So people with insomnia, can, it helps them sleep better. People with high blood pressure, it expands the blood vessels, allows the blood to flow more freely. Um, but also, it just brings the family together. And that's the main thing. It brings people together, gets them away from the TV, gets the kids away from the TV. You tend to find that when you have a hot tub, you have a few more friends than you did before. An industrial unit in New Baseford is home to Dan's business and he took me on a tour. This is the office. Take our course from here, sell from here, offer after sales support from here, everything happens from here. So this is like a central hub and then a lot of the other stuff is outsourced. Because you're international, aren't you? You sell overseas. Yeah, well, yeah. Done 10 in Ghana. We get these weird projects where people come from all over the place. So we attended for a project in Jordan. We've had Falkland Islands, Bulgaria. And it's celebrities as well though. A few. We've got John Barnes, who's just brought one recently, just as the World Cup was yeah. kicking off. And uh, Sophie Ellis Bex has brought one. Dizzy Rascal's got one too. Oh, yeah. You didn't mention Rob Pittam. <laughs> <laughs> At the tender age of 26, Dan finds himself in charge of a company dealing with supplies and customers from around the world. And a team working for him back in Nottingham. What's your name, love? Bianca. Bianca. Sounds familiar. Different show. <laughs> Bianca, um, <laughs> what's it like working here? It's really great. Yeah? Yeah, I do love it. Yeah, it sounds like it's a lot of fun. It is. Uh, Daniel's a great boss. Um, I do accounts. Um, just get on with it. Yeah. yeah, great place to work. What is your role in the company? Uh, well, I'm the, the salesperson here, so I'm the person that uh, speaks to the customers in the in the first instance, has a bit of a chat about you know about what the kind of thing that they're looking for, and then uh, tries to match the, the right product to them. And, and do you find more and more people are wanting the use of hot tubs? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's um, I think it's become something that, that people are a lot more attracted to, especially as people are staying in the UK instead of holidaying abroad. Um, and our target market is is you know the more affordable customer. People don't have to be spending fifteen, twenty thousand pounds on on a luxury item. It's something that that everyone can own because it costs the same as people would spend on a second hand car. When you have an office party, do you all just pile in the tub? <laughs> well, uh, not be telling. Not telling. <laughs> <laughs> now though, for the best bin. This guy's fixing me up with a hot tub so I can take a dip. I must admit, relaxing in a hot tub makes me feel like a millionaire. But Rob did say I could chill out after this job, but he also promised me a hot little chick. Not what I was expecting. 